Hello everybody, it's Nicole. So I've gotten a lot of questions from beauty counter consultants on how to uh, prepare their export from behind the counter for import into Hilo. So I thought I'd make a video for it. So what I have here in front of you is a is an example of an export file. It's the same columns. I've just changed the names so that people's identities are are protected. So all of this is dummy data in here just to give you a feel so it feels like the real thing for you. Um, you'll see that it's my usual, my, my very fancy list of prospects and clients that I have here. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna show you what you need to change. It's actually probably less than you think. Um, and then one quick little trick, which is usually what trips people up. So this this will be a really fast video. Where I'm gonna, what I'm gonna start with doing um, is, and this is the process I go through whenever um, me or someone from my team uh, get sent a file from from one of you to import for you. Um, this is our process, so I'll show you exactly what we do. So uh, if you click in the first any cell in the first row, I'll pick cell A1, and then I'm going to click this little button up here that says Sort and Filter. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click Filter. That's going to give me little filters at the top. That'll just make things easy for me to sort um, and make sure that every column is sorting and all of that. So now that I've got those little filters up there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to sort ascending by my file by my contact type here. So this column type has whether they're clients, prospects, members, all of that fun stuff. So I'm going to sort that first. And now I am going to uh, now the only thing that I need to change. So this is going to be what I'm going to import as contact type into Hilo. So client. All we care about here is that the names in this column, so client, consultant, member, prospect, do they line up with what contact types are, the choices we have for contact type in Hilo? And the answer is mostly yes. Um, client is exactly what we have. We, we, we have the exact same thing in, in Hilo. So client is exactly the same. Member is exactly the same. We have a contact type for member. We also have a contact type for prospect. The only thing that's different is consultant. In Hilo, we call that downline. So what we're going to do is we're going to deselect all of these and just select consultant. So now here's all of my consultants. All I'm going to do here, now there's two ways that you could do this. You could go downline, or if you wanted to just select this whole column and click replace, type in consultant and replace with downline, you could also do it that way. Or, so now it's replaced it 18 times. Or you could have just copied this and pasted it down here. It's totally up to you. So now now that's done. So now I, so type is set. All of my, all of my, and, and that goes for every other type that you have here. Um, there are certain types that we have, the, the list of types that we have in Hilo are prospect, client, member, downline, sideline team member, which wouldn't be in one of these files, um, compressed client, compressed member. So those would be how Beauty Counter gives those to you from, if you had compressed clients or compressed members or compressed consultants, that's how they'd be listed in here. So you wouldn't have to do anything with those anyway. The only one you have to change in this, in this column is can change consultant to downline. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna insert a column here and I'm going to call this pipeline. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is how I'm going to sort again. So I'm going to, now that I'm sorted, and what, the, what sorting does first by sorting it ascending is it groups them all together so you can easily copy and paste down the row rather than if you didn't sort them, they would be, you'd have, you'd have them out of order and you wouldn't be able to paste them all in a row. So just sort them first. So from here, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say clients and members. They're going to have the same pipeline position, so I'm going to select both. And I'm going to just type in contacted right here. I'm going to copy that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the end of client here. Now, it's important that I do this. This is what I'm talking about, about the sorting. So see, there's some hidden cells here. Those are the other types. Um, if you were to paste all the way down, um, it would paste into those cells. Uh, so for the 
for the downline members and for the prospects that we have in here. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to I'm going to just highlight the rest of these cells. So highlighting up, I'm going to click paste and then I'm going to skip down to the bottom of the members and I'm going to just paste right to here. So and now so those are all done. So I'm going to call those contacted. Now I'm going to do the opposite. Now I'm going to say uh, give me all the downline people. When I find all the downline, I'm going to put closed forward slash signed. And now I'm going to copy those, copy all the way to here, and paste. And then prospects, I'm going to leave those blank because we're actually going to call those, that's going to be in the not contacted position in Hilo. And if you blank it out, that's what it defaults to. So you don't have to put anything in for the prospects. So that's it. Um, those, are, those are the, and the reason that I did this is contacted means that these people will be eligible for follow-up. They'll be in my follow-up queue. Um, prospects who are in not contacted, um, they will be in my new reach out queue. So they're gonna, be, they're, they're gonna be people that I haven't spoken with about my business. If you'd like them in a different position, you certainly can put it there, but that's where I default them to. And then downline is enclosed sign because I've already gotten them to join me in business. So I'm gonna push those over there. Um, and then that is, that's really all you have to do in order to get these into Hilo as far as preparing your file. If I wanted to, I could add a lead temp column and I could say, you know, these are hot leads. These are people who order a lot from me. Um, warm would be they order pretty regularly. Um, if I wanted to add that, I could. Hot, warm, and cold are the lead temperatures that we have in Hilo. And then if I wanted to put any tags, so if I, if I wanted to keep track of things like, is this person a makeup artist? If I wanted tags in here, you know, maybe they're preschool contacts. Um, you know, make our kids go to preschool together, not that we've known each other since preschool. Uh, you know, and if you wanted to add those in here, you could. Any other fields, you would just add the column and then import it with them. But if I don't need to add anything, you could just start here. So now what I'm going to do, now this is the part that I was saying is surprising, and this is where most people get tripped up. So you do all of this work, and then you go to import it into Hilo, and I'm going to show you what the problem is. We're going to click Save As, and now it's going to bring me, I'm just going to put this right on my desktop to make it easy to find. And see this here, it says file format. It says UTF Unicode text.txt. So even though this file extension on the contacts export that I've got um, probably says .csv or says .xls, it's not. It's a text file. So it will not import into Hilo properly. So what I want to do is select from the dropdown either .csv, which is this one here, or .xlsx. Either one will work. We'll choose CSV because that just gets rid of all the formatting and everything and makes it easier. Uh, we're going to call this uh, BC Upload. Whoop. If I can spell it, we'll click Save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Hilo. And in Hilo, I have my account up already. I'm going to click the Import Contacts link here and I am going to well I'm gonna go back to my contact list page just so I could see them come in and I'm gonna choose import contacts and now I've got this box up I'm gonna click choose file and now I'm gonna find that upload that I have here so there's my file I'm gonna click up open now from here so here's type I am going to map that to contact type all we're doing is saying this is our column in, in the spreadsheet. This is that first row of data. This is just a reference. So in case you didn't know what type meant, you can see for reference it's client. Um, and then all we're doing is we're saying, OK, take the column type and put it into the field type, contact type in Hilo. So pipeline, I'm going to find pipeline. Uh, I'm not going to put full name because we don't really track that. So I'm just going to skip that. If you skip it, it will not import first name last name. Um, if you want status active, you can put it there. I'm going to leave status out of my import. I'm going to say email address. Just do these quickly. Phone number. Um, street is address. Post 
is zip code. City is city. So we're just mapping these out and I'm doing this very quickly so we could get to the good stuff. So now here's a, here's a, a field we do not have, the mentor. So what I'm gonna do is come down here to this last line, see it next to this button, and I'm gonna type in mentor. And I'm gonna click add custom field. Now I can come up here, scroll all the way to the bottom of this list and mentor. Now I've created a field for mentor so I can, I can keep that information in here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for enroller. I'm gonna add it. And I, can, I, it, I don't have to do it right away. I can create all of the, all of the fields that I want that are custom and, and then add them. So now it's enroller, enrollment date, now these are, te these are ones we actually have in here. Lead temp, these are those ones I added at the end. And this is tags, is contact tag in here. I know that's a little uh, not so intuitive. So now I've got them all mapped, and now I can click import. Now what it's done is it has, it has added all of these. There were some in there that were not correct. So there, there was, I, that test file had some errors in it. So, but now it's imported all of them. So that's all you have to do to import your export from behind the counter. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, always, if you have questions for us, just send them to support at heloipa.com. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and we'll see you around. Thank you.